Now, let's be specific. One of your big items, and perhaps the first thing you were interested in, was food supplements. How does that differ from other food lines and other food supplements, Dr. Shackley? Well, I never criticize another man's product. I can tell you what we attempt to do, and that is to produce the food values, the natural values, uh, and preserve them without chemical preservation. Our products will spoil just like a bottle of milk. No preservatives. Mm -hmm. No preservatives. It won't spoil as fast as a bottle of milk, but uh, they're, they're produced to give maximum values for the first 90 days. After that, they may start weakening at the end of six months. They weaken somewhat at the end of the year. They're of uh, questionable value. That's why we sell directly in the home, so that the distributor gets these products within a week, 10 days, or two weeks at most of the moment they're, they're produced. And it, they're out in the user's hands, in the user's home, Within 30 days, we hope, 60 days at most, and that allows them to be consumed at the highest possible nutritional value. It's interesting that you refer to these as food supplements and you avoid the term vitamin. Uh, I'm not avoiding the term vitamins. Vitamins are the name given to these elements. And uh, I was in this work uh, way back uh, in the early teens when we knew nothing about vitamins. We, in our first, exam first uh, investigation of food values, we determined a, a certain vital acid that when fed to laboratory animals and to humans, uh, resp they responded with more pep and vitality, and so we knew we had something vital. We call them the, the, the vital acids and then we knew considerable about uh, minerals, which are uh, common and is uh, just as important as vitamins. Now, and <coughs> excuse me. we put those minerals uh, together with the vital acids and uh, called it Shackley's Vitalized Minerals and sold the first product in 1915. That's a long time ago for you folks.